All right, everybody, welcome back to Red Bull Vanguard. We are here with the first and second place finisher. Uh, of course, the, I'm talking about Alex Myers, Rom, and I'm joined here, of course, by Tasty Steve. So, let's, first <laughs> off, let, let's, let's have a discussion. Rom, Now, I, Rom. I, I wanted to ask the, oh, okay, the winner okay, first. Okay, okay, okay. You knew that you weren't going to be able to go coming in. Did you just want to be the monkey wrench, the cog in all of this? I wanted money. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. See, someone on on commentary was like, it could be about the pride. And I was like, no, it's about yeah. the money. <laughs> about both. <laughs> both, I guess. Money is nice. So, Ron, what about you? Yeah, Did, I mean, what look, was your thought coming into this? <laughs> I came into the grand finals with a really bad mental state because I was just like, don't be second again. Don't be second again. Don't be <laughs> we second were talking again. about this. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. I, was I mean, look, me. oh, you man. lost to Chris T, Filipino man, and now Alex <laughs> Myers. It's like that's like a new Trinity, right? That I is mean, a new. Like, you got to keep uh, the streak yeah. alive, no, man. I, I, I hate this <laughs> the streak. The top this so Trinity. Like, uh, I mean, oh. uh, <laughs> but look, I mean, honestly, you made the trek down here from NorCal. People don't realize how far that travel I is. Dude, right? I respect that so much, and. Even though we don't get to talk as much, like, man, I have such a tremendous amount of respect for you as a player. One, two, man, you have been showing out so good since the inception of Street Fighter V. I've been watching uh -huh. both of you guys, especially you, and even more so you, because you've made some crazy strides in developing you guys' game to adapt to this new game, this new iteration of Street right. Fighter V. So I just want to commend both of you guys on that. But so, I mean, obviously you got first place here at this event, right? But you have first place in the points. You have 750 points, so you have qualified to the Proving Grounds event that is going to take place. Exactly. Does that, is that uh, ease, the, ease the pain a little bit? or <laughs> a, a little bit until I look at the rankings again. I'm just <laughs> like, oh, second. <laughs> but it was second, it was not for <laughs> Oh, man. I was in there. I was like, all right, you know what? This third time is the charm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rom, since I won, do you mind if I, I get this? Since I beat you, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Rubbing the salt in the wow. you know. You're just gonna just smush <laughs> it in there a little bit. Oh man! So, okay. so, dude, Rom is one of the best NorCal players in my opinion. Oh yes. I've been there. Uh -huh. I've been there like so much the past year and a half. Mm -hmm. This guy was bodying me before Evo, and then like I just been traveling so much. I think I caught up to him, but he's. Really good. And, I th and if he traveled more, I think he'd do so well. Like, he just needs to get out. I think he, he's better than Flash, in, oh, my, in wow. my opinion. I think Ooh, he is. Oh, that, that's okay. quite the stance. Okay. I, I think do, so. Do you feel like there are things that can happen? Do you feel like Proving Grounds is going to do something for your game? Because now you've come down here for all the Red Bull events now. Like, you've, you've dwelt for, for those three that you are, have got up to. How does this affect your game? Do you feel like going to this now was going to get you up to that level where you feel like you're a national contender? Uh, I think I'm a pretty average player, so I mean, like, this just gives me like this a lot of so modest. Dude, so modest. You almost beat infiltration at yeah. Evo. I, well, I mean, like, anyone can have like kind of an off match, so I just got kind of lucky with the first match against him. this we, guy. Man, we gotta we gotta pub him. Yeah, up. Yeah. Sure okay. Look, look, I'm gonna say this right now. You lost to Chris Terian, who sponsored. <laughs> you lost to Alex Meyer, who sponsored. Chris G. Oh, not Chris G. It was Filipino man who sponsored. Come on, guys. You're, you're, let's get I'm out. Let's saying, get out there. That's, that's I see national a future level for competition Rom match wise right there. Yeah, you exactly. Have a sponsor. I really think exactly. Rom deserves a sponsor. I agree. Any sponsors out there? Maybe Frankie's team, DS. Yeah, I mean, because honestly, like, I think that the change in your game, in oh, my man. opinion, is guy, really man. has a lot to do with the travel. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yeah. when you travel to a lot of events, you play in, a, like, really hostile environments, mm -hmm. and you learn how to, there's something solidifies in your brain. Yeah, like, you know? uh, over the past couple of months, uh, I took summer off from school, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I'm going to do the sponsored stuff. And I went to like I think five or six events, and it just like hardened my nerves. Yeah, so I was about hard. to say you got tough skin now, dude. Yeah, like at first I used we used to see you play, and we could see it was like man, Myers is kind of cracker right now. And now you're legit like yo, Myers, you got this, and you then you're back. This. And I'm yeah. like man, this dude <laughs> the bounce back on this kid. This dude is amazing. Well, so, quest, I have a question okay. for both of you guys, and I okay. I think this is a dynamic since I have both of you guys here. What were your changes? You lost that first set right oh. to him and then you went to grand finals what was your transition did you all, did you and i'm not trying to throw a wrench at anything yeah i mean you played a lot better in yes. the second set that you guys played each other you were close and you took a game so what was the change what was the change so i think uh during or after i lost him in uh in winter finals i 
Well, after well, in the interim between like when I was playing him uh, versus Jesse, I sat there and I was like, "How did I lose that?" I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean like it, it's such a it's such a funny question to ask yourself, but I mean like you pretty, have to. Yeah, you have to. Mm -hmm. Like, how did that go wrong? And uh, what I the conclusion I came to was that it went wrong because I was just running. Mm. I was just kind of mm. running from him the whole okay, time. Okay, like, okay. like as soon as like, like I got away from him, I would back up some more and have this huge right. gap. And it didn't matter because then he would just like walk He was me like, down. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Oh, you want to go to the corner? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. Let's get over there. Yeah. That, yeah. Just doing the sh Alex Meyer oh, shuffle yeah. again. That, yo, that, that yeah. gift is gone. I was, I, was I, was walking. Walking. I was walking right now. So, <laughs> walking. so and, and with that being said, what was yours? So you, you won, and then you came back, and you had to play him again. Were you in autopilot mode, like this is exactly what's about to happen again? Or did you feel like there was a time like, oh, he's going to make – do you feel like his adjustments were enough? Um, the thing that worried me was how he started changing the last game of the first set. Yep. So I was mm. like, oh, I was like, all right, he's adapting. So then I was like, all right, I really have to slow it down. One thing I learned on uh, last Wednesday when I was playing Anton and I lost mm -hmm. him in Grand Finals, I was like, I was like, dude, you're in winners, Grand Finals, right? But you feel yourself too hard when you're in winners, so you start playing, <laughs> you start playing sloppier. Yeah. So uh -huh. the main thing I told myself was like, I could feel like my. Like my blood was like really pumping okay, when I was about okay. to go to grand finals right now, and I was like, uh -huh. I was like, oh, just take a breath, calm down. And then when I slowed it down, Rom had a hard time adapting right, right. to that because he he was expecting to you know hit me like run and hit you know. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mm, this is working well for him. So I just really tried to breathe, tell myself like, don't right. go too in too hard. Yeah. Well, let me let me ask you because you just talked about that. You you know you're kind of shaking a little. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when people talk to me and ask me like, how do I get into tournaments? How do I get over the nerves? How do I stop being nervous? You guys are still nervous yeah. when you're playing in grand that, finals. That's right? a different kind of nerves. Like I'm, I feel so confident now. Oh uh, really? Okay. Like okay. just in my gameplay. So like when I was playing him, I felt like, oh, I'm gonna fuck him up. Like you know, like I was like, oh, I'm gonna destroy him. <laughs> so I was like, I have to like, I had to like, like you calm have down. to, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Not nothing against you, but like, <laughs> I, I, I was just, I was feeling myself. But like, one thing that changed in my my gameplay though uh -huh, uh -huh. was uh. For oh, by the way, if you do that, make sure you let me know so I can go beep. You oh, know sorry, before. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I'm not truly esports. <laughs> um, sorry, um, but one thing that changed was I talked to my girlfriend's uncle, mm -hmm. and he's like a martial arts dude. He and he loves Street Fighter, right? He's been following Street Fighter for. E I was blown away, right? Dude, that's crazy. And that's he, he's like 55, right? And oh, then, sick! But he looks super young. He looks younger than you. It's crazy. It's <laughs> insane. <laughs> he looks like he's like 25. Sorry. Dude, you body both of the people on this couch here. 25 is a, a young age. 25. Though, look. He looks, okay, how about this? Here's what's messed up. He looks younger than his son. Oh, wow. That's crazy. He looks younger than his son. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Well, that's what martial arts will do for you. Yeah. So. But anyways, he told me, he told me, once you have a strategy, uh -huh. you have to visualize. You and I have to be like water. Water. So I never visualized before. Water. He looked right at the camera. Water. water. <laughs> I started realizing every time I play, I visualize, but I visualize losing. Mm. So like be uh, before that, so I always me. yeah, I visualize. <laughs> no. Like I was like, yeah, exactly. So like no matter any last thoughts I get in my head, I'm like, no, you can do it. Like, and that's the one thing that mm. I think I missed in my gameplay always up until a couple months ago because of that guy. It, it was just like a martial arts mindset. Just visualize and be positive. And it just that's, that's sick. That's dude. crazy. That's and, so and it changed my life. I Time mean, for I you to go to find a martial artist and talk to him as well. Just, so, yeah. so give I me have his number. My final. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you his Facebook. <laughs> my <laughs> final question to add, both of teach you. Me. <laughs> so obviously, you're going to go to proving grounds. What is your mindset heading into proving grounds right now? Uh, so my mindset for proving grounds is I know. Well, I mean, I'll soon know like who qualified. Right. So mm -hmm. one of the things. I like to do is I like to look at the list of names who I might run into and then forget about it. Like, I, I, like I look at, like, okay, so I might blah, 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 blah. What I used to do was I used to, like, psych myself out, like, oh, I have to play this person in the first round, second round. I'd be looking at their YouTube videos and, like, okay, what should I do here? But the thing is, like, while that can help, like, I realized as I've gotten older, like, doing that kind of stuff just stresses you out. Yep. And when you, <laughs> when you go into a match and you have, like, oh, this guy does this, like, that's not taking into account that this guy just evolved from that YouTube video from right, maybe, like, a month right. ago. Yeah, yeah. So when something, like, goes off script... You're like, oh. Yeah, like, whoa, what's happening? Yeah, like, yeah. He's, oh, he never right. did that before. I used to do that a lot. Like, look up... I yeah. still look up videos, but I try and look up the most recent stuff mm. now. And if there's no video, I'm just like, all right, whatever. Yeah. And I'll just let it go. Yeah, I, I just... Now I look at the list, and I 
think to myself, okay, this guy plays this, or this, 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 this. And then I'll be like, okay, I'll practice against these characters. Yeah, you want to get the lay of the land. You don't want to copy what they're doing and try to counter it. You just want to be able to stop the character. Yeah, what I see in that match might not work for me. Exactly. And if I follow like a game plan that's not going to work for me, I'm just going to lose. Okay. So uh -huh. I just go into it very... Very open-minded, like, okay, I know against, I know who this guy is, uh, I'm going to practice against this character, and then we'll see how it goes. So, so, I mean, what would it mean to you to win Proving Grounds, yeah. to get to the Battlegrounds, to have a chance to get to Capcom Cup? Well, first of all, I mean, that definitely means I would have broken my streak in second place. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I mean, like, yeah, uh, this, is, this is the first uh, fighting game I've taken seriously in a while. So, I mean, it would be nice to... So to prove to myself, no, I don't care what other people think, but um, there you go. Yeah, to prove to myself that, like you know, like oh, I, I'm actually doing well after mm. putting the time in. I don't care if like people go. That's like, really all that matters, dude. Yeah. Like it's in your head. And and my same question for you. Like, although you're not gonna go to proving grounds, what's your next step into getting into Capcom Cup? I'm going. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I'm going to the Fall Classic. SCR the week after, and then two weeks later, I'm going to Cannon Cup. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, and are you gonna, I, I, I but the die. week after that, are you going to Battlegrounds? That's the Seattle. Uh, that's the Seattle game. one. That's one week right after it's Canada. One week right yeah, after Canada. I didn't Canada Cup. That, dude. And it's only 20 bucks to play, so all you got to do is get there, pay that 20 bucks, are and you, you do could it? potentially. I already did. Oh, um, he's already he's in, in there. He's in it. He's in there. He's in there. Four events in a month. Huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, look, that's the hunger. That's, that that's what you want. That's right. Gonna, well, gonna do it. need a lot of woosah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> woosah. Well, James, I'm all tapped out on questions. Do you have any other no, questions I'm, for these two I'm guys? Good. Do you guys have anything to shout Last out? Last note, James Chen is a beautiful young looking <laughs> man, and I did not mean that in any negative way. It's too late. Mm -hmm. Too late. No. Too late. It's too already late. archived. It's He's not going to look no, at you know that's what? archived, too. You know what? I'll only accept it because you're doing well with Cammy. All right. Oh, wow. There wow. you go. There you go. <laughs> well, I believe we have a special announcement. Oh, really? For you guys. So, with that being said, we're going to let production take it away. 